How much does the month of Ramadan mean to you? I mean, uh, uh, it means everything, you know. Uh, this is a time of blessing. Uh, this is a time of uh, uh, praying more than ever. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it uh, with, the, with the family, with the friends, and uh, with all the Muslim community, and as well the non-Muslim community, because as, as you know, uh, <clears throat> this is a moment where you have to share with uh, you know, other, other people from the world uh, even if they are not Muslim. And with your family, did you used to have like contests to see who could do it more fast, like with your brother Yaya, or you know, did you used to tease each other who was more hungry when you fasted? Um, if Yaya on, uh, on the fasting, I, I'm sure that I will uh, I beat him easy, definitely. <laughs> uh, but now I think, you know, we all grew up and uh, everybody just uh, tried to do his best, you know, and uh, try to, to stick to the rules as much as we can, you know, and uh, because this is, like I say, a blessing moment, it blesses months where you, is, uh, you have to do the extra, extra effort, you know, to be, uh, to be a good man, really. For those who don't know, obviously, you know, we don't eat from sunrise to sunset or drink, and that means, you know, we end up waking up very early for sunrise yeah. to eat, and we go to bed very late. As a footballer, yeah. what did you find the most challenging? Was it the lack of sleep or the kind of hydration or did you just miss having your pasta before a match? <laughs> I think the uh, n not drinking wa water or hot fluid in your body is the most difficult as a football player. Uh, because as you know, when you get on the pitch and you do trainings and you run around, you know, or you go in the gym and you walk in the gym, First thing you want to do is drink water, you know, and uh, or get some fluid on your body. But uh, yeah, you can do it, you know, which is very, very challenging. But in the other side is is incredible. But uh, as soon as you start the Ramadan, the first day is very hard. Uh, second day is very hard. The first week is very hard, and then your body just gets used to it, you know, and you don't even start thinking about water. Um, when you were a player, and all the teams you played at, yeah. were, were your teammates very kind of understanding and receptive of you doing Ramadan and fasting, even like the likes of Arsene Wenger? Absolutely. You know, I never had any issue with that. Because I think the, the most important when you're doing Ramadan, uh, again, you have to respect people who run you. You know, and uh, of course you're doing your Ramadan, but at the same time I think you're working on environments and you're working with people and uh, you have to try to be as disciplined as possible and uh, by making sure that when you have time to sleep, you go sleep, you rest well and when you come on the pitch and you train with your teammates, you give your 100% and you have to make sure they don't notice that you're doing fasting, you know, and I think that's the key and that's what I've been trying to do every time, try to be uh, more focused on training uh, try to not show any weaknesses, you know, because it, it can be simple things like, you know, you play a game, a 5v5 game at training. Do you give some of that advice that you learned from your playing career to the players here at Leicester? Absolutely, absolutely. That's, uh, I try to advise them, try to, to help them, you know, uh, because it's not it's no easy, you know, but uh, religion, your religion is the most important, really, you know, for, 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 for you. In my opinion, as a uh, as somebody who really pray, you know, I really uh, my religion is everything, you know. And without my religion, I will, I don't think I will be uh, who I am now, because I feel like that my religion give me some progress, help me to be a better person, you know, and uh, and uh, try to be a, a, a good guy for the world as well, definitely. And this is things that I'm telling them. Just try to advise them for them to be the best that they can. Last season, mm. we saw an incredible moment where Crystal Palace stopped the game. Uh, it was during Ramadan, and everyone was a bit you know, confused as to why, but then we saw Cechi Kiate and Wesley Fofana break their fast on the sidelines. I mean, that was quite an amazing moment. It was probably the first time that's happened in the Premier League. That's where you can see the world is moving forward, and uh, you can see that people is just getting to try to understand the other one, you know, which is key in the world, and I think you can see some inclusion there, you know, people just try to understand why this guy is doing that, 
you know, and uh, that's the most important. If you see a player doing Ramadan, it's because he believes on his, his, his faith. And if he doesn't do Ramadan, he will not perform well because psychologically he's going to be weak. He will feel like I'm not connected to, to, to Allah. And that will make him, that will make him uh, soft, that will make him uh, not playing very well. But you, when you leave the player, you give him that opportunity to do, do his Ramadan. He's, he's so, psychology is so strong, he's feeling that I can't, you know, I have God with me when I'm playing the game. You know, no one will pass me, no one will score, you know, and he's giving his, his full potential, really. You mentioned Leicester there. I mean, I've been around the training ground today. I've seen, you know, the multi-faith thing that you told me, actually. Yeah. You know, that is open to all religions. You know, Absolutely. there's halal food options here, also at the stadium as well. You know, how important, you've kind of hinted it there, but how important is it to have that inclusion, to be, I guess, as wide as possible? It's vital, you know, because... We're living in the world where people are uh, mixing together. You know, you, you, see, uh, uh, you see white people going in Africa, you see black, uh, black people coming in the UK, Arab, Chinese, you know, Indian, you know, and there's a lot of mixture now, you know, and, and people traveling, traveling everywhere. And it's so important that people get together 